okay to get caught red-handed. Here is your host, Rod Ross. Hello friends, and welcome to the joy of fingerprinting. I'm Rod Ross. First off, I'd like to thank you all for tuning me in back onto your laptops. I will also strongly encourage you all to break out your paints and paint along at home, because it is always a great day to finger paint. Today, we will be recreating a painting done by my late cousin, Bob Ross. The painting is entitled, A Bubbling Stream. As you can see, the base of his painting has a variety of shades and colors. He has a nice liquidy stream going down the center. He has nice blue and white clouds in the back. And he has many, many happy trees. As I always say, trees? Yes, please. Now, now that we understand what picture we are painting, let's move on to the things that we need. We have a tray for painting. We have paper because paper, and we have scissors because scissors are fun. Now let's talk over our paints. We have yellow, is it me you're looking for? We have grandma sweater blue. We have ginger orange. And we have purple nurple purple. We have sunburn red. And we have icky green green. Now, as I load up my tray, here are a few short words from our sponsors. Today's program is brought to you by Crayola. Crayola, the only color company that brings you the useless white crayon. Now, I'm still loading my tray, and you don't need a whole ton. You can either just do a dab or just use a mountain of it. Either way, you're still going to have a blast. Now that my tray is loaded, let's jump on into the painting and begin. First off, I will start with the base. With the base, you can use whatever colors you wish. In all reality, you are your own leader, so do whatever you wish, America. Now that I'm done with the base, let's start with the stream. A technique I use for the stream is the one, two, three method. One, being as thin, two, being as wide, and three, being dang. The dang option is what we'll be using for today's stream. The reason why it's called dang is because it's so dang big. Now, as I slide down the paper, I will pretend as if my fingers are liquid, so it makes a liquidier liquid, liquid. There's our stream. Now we'll move on to the happy trees. For the trees, we also use the one, two, three method. First, at the top, you start with the one, and then whenever you wish, use the two to make a water, and then you add the dang to create a happy, happy tree. Let's add some more trees. One, two, Dang, happy tree. One, two, dang, happy tree. Now let's add the foliage. For the foliage, I use a variety of colors, and I like to use the rapid fire technique to create a bunch of texture, and it releases all my built up anger. Foliage. More foliage. More foliage. Look at those happy trees. Now to finish off the picture, we'll move on to the clouds. I like to use the claw technique because it makes me look fierce. Cloud. Cloud. And there you have it, our recreation of a bubbling stream by Bob Ross. <sighs> Isn't it just magical? Now, remember, these pictures you'll be able to give to your mamas. I've made so many paintings, my mama had to go out and buy two new fridges just to hang all my pictures up on. Now, thanks again for joining us in The Joy of Finger Painting. Next week, we'll be recreating the Mona Lisa. And always remember, happier trees and happier clouds lead to a happier life.
<laughs> you want me to say? Yeah, that's what they want. In my character, or like when I broke out of it last time? When you break out of your character. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, start to talk like Rob Ross and then right. break out. You know? All right. Tell me when. And as you can see, the, the trees and the waters, water. Uh, you guys can edit this, right? Okay. Crayola. Crayola. Crayola, paint with all the colors of the wind. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. Crayola, the sexiest color company. Do you like the little crop tops? <laughs> <laughs>